in this session i want to give a clear step by step process that you will take in a coding interview while solving a problem this session is going to be a little lengthy uh, because i am going to demonstrate how should you approach a coding interview problem in a real interview hey guys welcome back today i'm going to solve a problem from meeting rooms category which is again very frequently asked question in coding interviews let's start with a question the question is given a list of booked meeting intervals check if you can attend all of them okay so this is our question you know sometimes this is how you will face an interview you will be just given a question like this and the interviewer is expecting you to come up with a api the list of inputs how will you write the input okay so uh, it is completely up to you that gives a lot of signal to the interviewer so because you are going to think about the api the name of the api the inputs and the output it is you who should ask lot of questions to him as much questions as possible to clarify the requirement okay so let's ask some question okay so you can ask like what is an interval here the intervals means an information which contains the start time and a end time but how will the input is given to me so that's the question that you should ask this is first question that you should ask he can throw you back again saying that it is up to you you can decide or maybe he can you know tell that okay this is a um, list of arrays and each array object can have two elements this is giving you a clear picture like how the input will look like right okay so let me come up with a method then okay the question is telling check if you can attend all of them so the answer is of course yes or no so my return type should be boolean right now let me write the method as can i attend okay or maybe more generic if we can say can attend meeting okay or maybe can attend all meetings right fine can attend all meetings for the given list of interval so of course i have to take a list of interval right object i can say meetings this is one way to write this right meetings okay yeah. and finally i will return something right for right now let's say if i'll return true okay now if i will write this then again i have to write this interval object also right so i can say class interval and int start time i have to tell him tell the interviewer that i will take two param okay integer okay int int and time right cool so this is how i will define my interval class and there might be a constructor if i am passing the two values or you know i have to access these two values so there are tons of things that can happen here right but for the sake of the interview you can you know keep it short don't go deep dive into writing like setter getter and all those you know constructor parameterized constructor so you can skip them sometimes to save time you can actually go with an array okay array of two elements okay so it could be so which is very simple you don't have to define anything like something like this assume that the the first element is the um the start time and the second element is the end time and you can clarify that you can clear that out you know when you start coding okay make sense okay 
because right now I have time so I'm just going with the interval okay here fine okay now how will we solve this problem let's talk about how will we solve this problem the only way that I can attend all the meetings if the intervals does not overlap if there is no class there is no overlap of any slot the easiest way that I can figure it out if I you know sort them like if I pick all this calendar all this meeting interval by their start time and I'll place them side by side and look at them how will I check if there is an overlap I'll just check the end time of an interval with the start time of another interval that's it if there is any end time which is crossing the start time of the next interval that's it and the time complexity is what the time complexity is sorting of all the intervals by their start time and log n time complexity right if there are n number of intervals then n log n will be the time complexity for sorting all of the all the intervals and there will be another loop for scanning that is o of n for a very large input so n log n is the time complexity that we are talking here okay now that we have conveyed our solution approach to the interviewer we can start coding the first step that we will do is sorting right so to sort a list we'll use collections dot sort and we'll pass the meetings okay the second parameter is a comparator so i'll pass the comparator here so for a and b uh, i will do a dot start time minus b dot start time yeah let's do some sanity check which i missed here if there are no meetings at all then we will not be able to attend any of them so i can say if meetings equal to null or meetings dot size hmm, equal to zero then we can say return we can return false okay fine okay now that we have sorted this now that we have sorted all the intervals here in this line the last step that we'll do is scan through all the intervals and see if there is an overlap of intervals right so to be able to do that when i'm scanning either i will look to the next interval or previous interval whatever makes sense to you you can go ahead with that okay and because we are looking at the previous interval or the next interval we need to have the index right so for loop with index will make sense here not the for each loop okay so let's write a for loop int i equal to zero and i less than meetings dot size i plus plus but here there is a small fix we have to do i have to go till the size minus one interval okay yeah this is one thing that we might miss in the interview um, i will advise to not to write this for loop rather start a for loop from one and then you know you don't have to deal with this but anyway uh, whatever makes sense to you whatever is you know um, easy for you you can go ahead with that but i will go with this for now okay so i'll say uh, interval prev equal to meetings dot get zero okay first i will get the first meeting interval i'll name it as previous okay start a for loop and in the for loop so in the for loop i'll check if this interval which is interval curve equal to which is meetings dot get okay 
now you see because i am using interval object so i have to you know deal with typing interval again and again had it been an array of two elements it would be so easy and we can save a lot of time in typing okay that is why i love using arrays rather than writing creating objects you know in java while writing code in java for an interview you will be actually you know wasting lot of time in typing all this you know the more that you try to write a clean code in terms of writing separating the objects and all you will be wasting a lot of time okay i would go with writing an array here okay? and i will tell that to my interviewer that i am going with an array but interval class would be a better idea but to save time here i am going with it that is perfectly all right okay now the only thing that i need to check here is my start time is less than the end time of the previous interval that's it so i'll say if my start time which is car dot start time is less than the prev of end time right then i can say that i can say that this is an overlapping interval so i will not be able to attend this meeting anymore which means i cannot attend all the meeting right so i can immediately say that return false okay now the last thing okay what if if there is no overlap i will go to the next interval but there is a very important step here we have to set the previous as the current okay this is it okay now we might want to actually walk through our code okay let's take some inputs for example first interval is 0 10 okay second interval is uh, let's say 10 uh, 20 third interval is let's say 15 and uh, 20 five okay and let's say another interval is uh, 30 30 and 40 okay now we need to check if we can attend all this meeting so clearly my inputs are not sorted okay by start time or end time and it is not null or side equal to zero so i will not return false okay i'll go i'll sort them first okay once i sort them this will be my input so so 0 10 10 20 15 25 30 40 is my input now okay after sorting by start time okay now the first one is 0 10 the first one is 0 10 0th element is uh, 0 10 the first element is 10 20 so I am looking at right now what 10 20 okay so I am looking at 10 20 and I am checking current start time which is 10 okay this is 10 and previous end time which is 10 okay so each 10 is less than previous end time no now previous becomes my here 10 20 becomes my previous right. now i equal to 2 and in that case 2 is 15 20 so 15 20 now i'm looking at 15 20 current start time is 15 so i'm checking here 15 current start type time is 15 less than previous end time is 20 right previous end time is 20 yes 15 is less than 20 and in that case i will not be able to attend this meeting there is already an overlap of meetings so clearly i will return false here right so this is looking good you might want to take some more uh, examples maybe maybe the example uh, that the input might be um, uh, here let's say this could be let's say 20 and this could be let's say 29 okay so in that case clearly there is an there is no overlap we will not go inside this if block ever 
and we will be done with this for loop okay and finally we will return true which is fine and now you can submit this you can tell your interviewer that you are lead code is asking to subscribe because it is a very frequently asked interview question even though it is easy so i have found a, another platform where i am going to you know just verify my solution okay so you can see this i have written the exact same solution here but there is a small caveat uh, for intervals equal to null or intervals equal to size zero this is returning true okay so you can clarify this with your interviewer when there is no input given to you should you return true or false we have already told the interviewer that in this in this particular case we would have returned false but lead code is expecting true which is fine okay so you can say that okay there is no uh, meetings given to me then i will attend all the meetings so it is fine right you don't have any meeting to attend you can still say that oh i have attended all the meetings thanks guys thanks for watching see you next time that's it for today guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel see you next time till then take care lead code is asking to subscribe which means it is a very popular problem so pay good attention to this problem yeah. so you should definitely watch this right